what is going on guys in last video we have added the categories and displayed all those categories in the ui also on click of the category we are navigated to products view page in this video we will add actual products with the details like title description images price and we'll display all the products under that category in the products view page so let's get back to the project so now as you can see when we click on electronics we have the id over here that is electronics that is the category id if we click on fashion we have fashion now when we go to electronics we want to display all the electronics products so for the products first we need to add the products to the firestore database so what we will do we'll go to firestore database in the data we have stock in the stock we have categories so you can see we have added on last video we have five categories same way we'll add another collection and we'll add different documents so one document will be one product so let's add that so collection id i will give products and here we can add multiple documents so first document will be first product so for each product we have to add one document so first thing is document id the id of the product so how it will be you can provide your own id you can give prod one you can increase the id like that or you can use auto id so firestore will automatically generate the id so what i will do i will use auto id so document id now what are the attributes or the field you want to show for the product so there can be title price description you can show the images you can add as many as fields you want over here so i will add some fields so first field let's add id so that it can be uniquely defined so i will use the same id whatever the document id is over here i can provide the same id over here if you give any manual id you can provide the same over here so second field let's say title so what will be the title of the product what you want to show what is the product so first product will add as iphone 16 pro max let's say you can give any title so another field let's say description so for the description also you can write anything this is the latest iphone for the pro users you can add i leave it to you you can add description another field we'll use is category so this product comes under which category so we have different categories electronics fashions so this product come under electronic category so what we will do we'll add another field as category and value will be electronics so this value should match the category we have created earlier so it should match the category id whatever the spelling is over here it should match that otherwise there will be issue next field we will add is price so let's add two prices one to show that it is the original price one actual price so first i will add the price let's say iphone it's 1999 actual price we will write around 1649 now one last thing we will add right now is images so we want to show some images same thing you can store image anywhere and you have to give the url here here we want to use one image we will use multiple images so i will select array so images will be list of a string it will be type array and it will have multiple string so for images what we can do we can upload the image to cloudinary or github anywhere you can upload and give the url here but that is time consuming so what i will do i will go to amazon.com and i will search for iphone 16 pro max i will select this one so you can see here we have images we can utilize this so what i will do i will click on this and i will use copy image address so image address should be properly copied if you paste over the browser you should see the image that means the url is copied correctly so i will copy the image address and paste it over here first string one image you can add multiple images so i will do second one this copy image address paste it this one as well paste it i will use this one as well so i have four images now click on save so we have added first product you can see in the products collection we have a document that is our product which has the id so here we have different fields actual price category description id whatever the images we have for price and the title you can add you can add any number of fields you want but for now we will add this later we will add more fields so in this way you can do let's add another document as well let's give the automatically id and copy this id paste it here let's give title as macbook air m4 description we'll copy it from here let's search for macbook m4 and uh, let's copy this description just like this paste it category will be electronics same price will be let's say 15.99 actual price let's say 13.99 and images array same thing we'll go to amazon click on it copy 
paste it let's do another paste it we'll use three images for this one click on save so we have the fields so you can see we have added two products on the electronics one is iphone and one is macbook one more product we'll add to different category let's say document id id title let's give some nike air Sue. let's choose this one i'll copy this title like men's shoes air paste it description also i will take it from amazon let's copy this field category will be we have another category that is fashion we will include it in fashion category price so 743 let's say 899 actual price as 749 and images array now let's copy the image copy image address paste it copy image address paste it let's take one more paste it i will take three only so now i have three products you can add multiple products 100 products you can add thousand products in each category whatever you want later we'll add from the admin panel but for now we are adding in firestore so we have three products as of now you can see over here all the fields should be correct so that we can convert it in the model let's get this data in the ui so now let's get back to the project first thing if you go to category view you can see over here here we are getting the category list we have category model so you can see over here we have id name image url same way we will get the product model we'll get the product list we'll get from the firebase firestore and we'll show the data it is almost same so what i will do i will close other tabs i'll keep it open and i will create one model first model will be product model so it will be a data class and let's add the fields so first field will be id string so whatever fields you have added over there you have to add it over here title i'll duplicate it description price actual price we have category also and one last thing we have it images so it is not a string it is a list of a string so it is an array so we'll initialize it as empty list that's it our model is ready whenever you add more fields over here you can add in this model that's it so we have the product model now we'll go to our category product page where we want to show all the products now here i will remove this text first so same thing we have to do we will go to category view what i will do i will copy this launch defect and the category list whatever i have over here I'll go over here we have to do same thing but here it should be products list list of product model same way we'll initialize now here we have to see where we have the data we have in the data stock and here collection is products in that products we have all the documents so we'll get it if it is successful we'll convert it to product model not the category model so now here it will be products list now we'll get all the products in this product list so this product list should have all this product all these three products so what i will do here here i will do lazy column so that you can show in column and i will use items which will be a list of a string give the product list dot value we'll get each item over here so here we'll just show text for now let's say item dot what you want to show i will show two string so whole item let's run and see either we are getting all the products or not let's run it so now if i go to electronics you can see over here we have all three products this is the one product this is another and we have three products if you give space over here modifier dot height and dp import it rerun 50 dp you can see this is one product this is two product and this is third product let's only show the title now run you can see we have three things so let's give modifier to this lazy column equals to modifier dot fill max size and we'll give padding around 16 dp you can see we have got three products because we have three products now if you see over here if i go to fashion still we have three products groceries we have three products because here we are getting all the products not the category wise we have category id over here but we are not utilizing that here you can see we have the category id if you click on electronics we are getting electronics but we are not querying the firestore database with the category id so to query what we will do whenever we are getting the products here we'll add one more condition where equal to so it will get all the products but it will match where equal to so what we want to match we want to match this category the key is category and the value is electronics so here we want to match category the field is category with the value that is category id so here you can paste it so it will only get the products which matches the category id that means whenever we are in electronics it should get the electronic items only now let's run click on electronics you can see we have two items on electronics if you go to fashion we have only one item 
and electronics items are skipped because we have added the condition for category. If you go to now groceries, you don't have any items. So in this way, it will work. In electronics, we have two items. You can show anything over here. Let's say title plus you can give a space plus item dot actual price. Let's say we have the price also. We have all the data. If you see description also, we have the data. So everything is working. Whatever we have added over there in the fashion, you can see over here in the electronics. You can see we have the title and description. So this all will be real time. If you see over here, I will go to actual price. We have iPhone 16 Pro Max as 1649. Now, if you go over here and go to iPhone 16 Pro Max and change the price to 1799, I'll update it. Go back, click on electronics again. You can see the new price. So all the data is real time. In this way, on each category, we got all the products. Now we have product data over here. We can design it however we want. Also, you can add more product. Let's add one more product for the electronics so that we can design it nicely later. So let's add another document. ID will be same. Title will be let's add some television. Let's add this Amazon Fire TV. Title will be this description. Let's say description. I'll copy from here. You can add anything category will be electronics electronics price will be let's say 499 actual price will be let's say 249 images will be array let's copy image address copy you can use image from anywhere let's say if i go to google amazon fire tv 32 inch let's say if you want to add this image you, you can just do copy image address and paste it in this way you can add image from anywhere so now if i go to electronics back electronics you can see we have one more item that is amazon fire tv in this way you can add multiple products you can add it is up to you you can add as many products for all the categories so that's all for this video in next video we'll design the product item so whatever the item we have over here let's say amazon fire tv we should show the image we should show the title we should show the price we should show add to cart button as well in that way we'll design the product item so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going See you in the next video. Bye-bye.